Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to, you know what, my collect stuff. <laughs> and this morning, we're doing another ride along. And we are going to the West Palm Beach Baseball Card Show because it is, again, the third Sunday of the month. And they always have the West Palm Beach Baseball Card Show the third Sunday of the month. So we're going to go see if we can find some good rookies, uh, you know, cards that are in really good shape. Maybe we'll see if any of the dealers want to talk to us. They may be shy for the camera. You know, we don't want to keep these baseball card show videos completely repetitive. So maybe we can get an interview with one of the dealers and see, see what it's all about for them. I got my, my Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee this morning. Mmm. America runs on Dunkin'. They didn't pay me for that. They should. Maybe they will. Uh, and my bagel. Mmm. Gotta eat. So, let's go check out the show. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like. The thumbs up. Aha. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't know why everybody says hit that notification bell. I find it annoying. You don't have to hit it, but you can. You can hit the notification. Uh, I don't care if you do or don't, but I do want you to subscribe. We're getting close to 250, 250 subscribers. I have to do a video on what I'm gonna give away out of my own pocket. So let me think about that and I'll try to get one up probably this week uh, or soon. Anyways, let's go check out the show. Thanks guys. All right, we are here at the American Polish Club on Military Lakewood Road. Vendors are starting to set up. And we're on our way in to buy some baseball cards. Maybe we'll get some from this guy, Mike, over here. Ah, there we go. What are you selling today? Oh, got a whole bunch of goodies. All right. Organize it, ready to rock. Uh, Mike, he's one of the dealers here at the West Palm Beach Baseball Card Show. He's gonna tell us uh, exactly what he, he likes to sell and, and what he does. All right. Well, good morning, people. My name is Mike, and I specialize in either very old or very new cards. 
Not really much in between. Plus lots of memorabilia, collectibles, and all sorts of uh, amusing stuff. How long have you been collecting for? Oh, uh, my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So they can uh, they can find you here uh, every month at the show? Yes, sir. Do you sell anywhere else? Uh, yes, I sell in Sebastian. That'll be uh, next Saturday. Okay. And a week after that will be in Coral Gables. All right. Great. Perfect. Thank uh -huh. you, sir. Thank you kindly.
So I just finished up inside at the uh, the baseball card show. The place was packed, but it looked like everybody was being safe, wearing their masks, trying to keep a social distancing. It's tough in there, but you know they have sanitizer and uh, and whatnot throughout. Uh, got a lot of good uh, rookie cards, new cards, in hopes of uh, these guys, these rookie guys, uh, doing good this year. I'll flip them later, maybe get them graded. You know. Uh, I got some wax boxes for like $15 a piece, which is cool. You never know what you're going to get in the, uh, the old wax era. Um, let's go home and, and show it off. All right, so we're here at Target. Thought I'd stop by. I had to get some ink for my printer. We're going to check out and see if they got any baseball cards on the shelf, which who knows. Lots of magic. What do we got here? Whoa. Chrome update, two boxes. Heck yeah, I'll grab those. Never see those. I'm not paying $120 for that. What is that? I don't know. They had two boxes of Topps Chrome update on the shelf. I never see that anywhere at Target. That's cool. I'm happy with that. At $20 a box, I'm taking both of them. I was not paying 120 for the heritage, but this is cool. We're gonna go home and open these up. All right, welcome back everyone. We are back at the house and we are gonna go through and review some of the stuff that I got at the card show. So we're gonna try to make this quick, but it's not gonna be very quick because I got a lot. So you guys know I buy a lot of uh, new players. I don't really deal much with the older stuff, although I do sometimes buy the older stuff. So. Uh, let's try to go through these quick and see what I got. I got a uh, 2020 Bowman Chrome Joe Adele prospect card. And I paid like either 50 cents or a dollar for these. I, I didn't pay any more than that. Uh, this one's a 2018 Bowman Green Brennan Rogers prospect. This is a 2019 Platinum Nico Horner prospect. This is a 2020 Platinum Gavin Lux, rookie. Is that how you pronounce that? Lux or Lou? I don't know. Uh, we got some doubles in here also. Uh, this one is a 2019 Bowman, oh not Bowman, sorry. Topps Chrome Caven Biggio rookie. And a 2019 Topps Chrome Will Smith rookie. Austin Riley Chrome rookie. Uh, two more Biggio Chrome Rookies. We got, uh, wow, how many did I get of that? Uh, four Vladimir Guerrero Topps Chrome Rookie Cards, and this is uh, Rookie Debut. Four of them at a dollar a piece. And then I got a uh, 2019 Topps Chrome Rookie Debut. Eloy Jimenez, Eloy Jimenez. Uh, this one's a 2020 Bowman Mega Box Refractor of uh, Tristan McKenzie. 2020 Christian Pache Green Bowman. 2021 Rookie Cup Lewis Robert Tops. 2021 rookie Tristan McKenzie tops. 2021 tops Mike Trout. And another Lewis Robert rookie cup. And then this one is a uh, 2021 uh, 1988 throwback tops Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then we back to the uh, 2019, <laughs> geez, brain freeze. 2019 uh, Topps Chrome Will Smith rookie, another one of those, another Aloy Jimenez rookie, debut rookie. And then uh, this one is a 2020 Gypsy Queen rookie of Kian Wong, and it's missing the name on the front. 
So I don't know if that's a, it's obviously an error card. I don't know if it's a, a corrected error or not, but it is missing his name right here. Keon Wong, rookie card. We got the, uh, back to the 2019 Topps Chrome, Mike Yastrzemski, rookie card, two of those. Three of those. This one is a 2020 Bowman Platinum Blue Parallel Foil, I guess, of uh, Vladimir Guerrero, numbered out of 150. Paid a dollar. This one's a 2020 Topps Gallery, looks like Rainbow, Ronald Acuna. Rainbow card. Then we got a rookie card. 2019 Panini Unparallel. Uh, this is a looks like an insert, possibly. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. A dollar for that one. Like I said, I paid like a buck for all these or 50 cents. Uh, this one's 2017 Bowman Best Joe Adele. And then we have a 2020. Panini Prism, uh, looks like, like a refractor or a hollow prism of Tristan McKenzie, parallel card. And then back to the 2020 Bowman Chrome, uh, rookie card of Sogo Akiyama. Got uh, three of those, I thought he had good stats on the back with 20 home runs and a 303 batting average in the Japanese league. In, uh, hey, stop it, 2019. And we have a 2017 Bowman Platinum Ian Happ. And a 2020 Optic Rookie of Nick Madrigal. 2019 Bowman Platinum Tristan McKenzie. This guy's a really good pitcher. Check his stats out if you've never heard of him, but you probably have heard of him if you collect baseball cards. Uh, two 2020 Optic Rated Rookies, Gavin Lux, Gavin Lou, I don't know, Lux Lou, Luxy Lou. Uh, 2017 Topps Chrome Rookie, David Dahl. And this one was a 2019 uh, Bowman Heritage. Rookie of Keston Hira. And we have a 2016 Bowman, first Bowman card, platinum, not platinum, sorry. Just a base, base Bowman of uh, Mickey Moniak. And a 2015 Tops update, Joey Gallo rookie. What? Roof. And a 2017 Optic rated rookie of David Dahl. This one is a 2019 Gypsy Queen numbered out of 50. Rookie card of Jacob Nix. I only paid 50 cents for that one. I don't know who Jacob Nix is. I'll have to look him up, but if it's numbered out of 50 or 50 cents, I'll take a shot on him. We got two uh, 2017 Topps Holiday rookies of Alex Bregman. 50 cents a piece. And a 2016 rookie debut rookie of Blake Snell. And this one is a 2019 Topps Heritage Chris Paddock rookie card. Continuing, continuing through the lot. Uh, haven't dropped any yet. That's new. Uh, this one is a 2019 Gypsy Queen Fortune Rookie of Kyle Tucker. That's a cool card, I think. And we have a 2018 Topps Chrome of Parker Bridwell Rookie. Are these coming out clear? I hope so. 2020 Topps Turkey Aristides Aquino Rookie. And we have a uh, 2017 Topps Heritage insert. Number out of 
number two in the series of 15. I, I don't know who this was. Uh, I'll have to look him up. I don't know. I don't know why I bought it, but it was a rookie card. Who is that? Anybody know? I'll have to look him up. It'll be easy. I'll just look it up real quick. Whoa, don't knock the camera over. If I don't drop the cards, maybe I'll knock the camera over. Um, keep going here. 2018 Bowman Chrome Prospect, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. 2019 Tops Update, Harold Ramirez, rookie. And we have a 2020 Dunruss Fireworks, now playing, Aristides Aquino. It's kind of cool looking card. And a 2020 Dunruss Rated Rookie of Aristides Aquino. We have a 2017 Topps Chrome of Scott Kingery, rookie card. And a 2017 Topps Chrome of Manny Margot, rookie card. We got a 2019 Nate Pearson Platinum. A couple of those. Prospect card. A couple more. Uh, 2020 uh, Optic Rated Rookies of Nico Horner. And another 2020 Aquino Optic Rookie. Halfway through these, uh, these cards. Uh, 2019 Nico Horner First Bowman. And a 20, God, I need glasses. I can't see, I gotta squint. 2019 uh, Gypsy Queen, Nico Horner, rookie. 2020 Bowman, Aristotle is Aquino, rookie. 2020 uh, Tops Turkey, rookie card, Nico Horner. And if these guys do good, I know they're lower end cards, but I can group them together later on in the season and probably sell them as a lot. But with baseball cards going up in value so much these days and everybody collecting, even these base cards could be could be valuable, you know, if they're graded or even ungraded. Uh, 2017, no, 2018 Bowman Chrome, another uh, Tucker. And another Nico Horner, first Bowman. And we have a 2019 uh, Prism, Brandon Lowe, rookie. And when I'm using my phone, people keep texting and I have to push it up, which is why you see me going like this, because I can't seem to want to buy appropriate camera uh, cameras for the videos. But this is fine. It works fine. Uh, 2016 Bowman Chrome Refractor, Austin Riley. Prospect cards, they're both refractors. This is a 2019 Aloy Jimenez Bowman Chrome card, rookie year. 2017 Bowman Chrome Tristan McKenzie, prospect. 2020 Heritage Nico Horner, rookie, and Adbert Al Alzove. And we have a 2019 Heritage Kyle Tucker and Sionel Perez, rookie. This is a 2019 Bowman First, Jonathan India. And two Prospect India cards, 2019 Platinum. And a 2018 Bowman Chrome Prospect, Joe Adele. He's a hot prospect this year coming up, pay attention to him. Uh, this is a 2018 Panini Prism, Alex Verdugo rookie. 2018 Gypsy Queen, Clint Frazier, rookie. 2019 Rookie of the Year favorites, Kyle Tucker, Bowman Chrome. A couple of those. Another Jonathan India first. And uh, Nate Pearson, Optic, rated rookie. A lot of these are doubles. And a 2020 Jonathan India Chrome. We have another Kyle Tucker, Rookies and Stars, rookie card. And a uh, limited, Panini Limited, Kyle Tucker, rookie. And here's a 2020 
Bowman Scouts Top 100, Jonathan India. And a 2018 Panini Classics, Alex Verdugo rookie. It's another, is that, yeah, Verdugo. Another T Kyle Tucker rookie card. And here's a uh, 2018 Rookie of the Year favorites, uh, Verdugo rookie. This one is 2018 Bowman Chrome Refractor Prospect of Ryan Velade, numbered out of 499. I just bought it because it was a refractor prospect. And a 2020 Bowman Chrome Prospect Julio Rodriguez and Jared Kalenic. There's a uh, 2020 Tops. Refractor, uh, 85 throwback, 35th anniversary rookie, Aristides Aquino. And another Joe Adele, 2019 Platinum. And this one's a 2021 Tops, 35th anniversary, 86 throwback, Fernando Tatis. And this is a 2020 Panini Prism. Looks like collegiate of Robert Hassel. I think this is an insert. Robert Hassel. And a 2020 Tops uh, Turkey. Gavin Lux. I think that's a parallel card. And a 2020 Kyle Lewis rookie. Platinum. This is a 2021 Tops. Chrome, Vladimir Guerrero Refractor, dollar, paid a dollar or less. Another Nico Horner. I just stock up on guys. I stock them up. It's like buying shares of, of penny stocks. Uh, this is a 2020 Topps Chrome Rookie Cup, pink refractor of Brian Reynolds. Nice pink refractor. And we have a Prism Refractor, Brian Reynolds, Rookie Cup. And we have a 2020 Refractor, Topps Chrome, Show Otani. And another uh, Tristan McKenzie Chrome card. A couple left here. These are uh, more of the 2020 Panini Prism Collegiate cards of Jimmy Galawecki. Gal Gal Stop it. Gao, ga, glu, geez, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Just look at it. Look at the card. It's a, it's a donut card. Glonecki. Glonecki. Glowenecki. Numbered out of 99. Who knows who this guy is, but numbered out of 99. His first card, you know, could be a good player in the future. And we have Jared Jones, also numbered out of 99. Donuts. We have a Bowman Best. 2019 Power Producers of Andrew Vaughn. And a 2019 Bowman Best Refractor Franchise Favorites? Is that what this is? No. What the heck does that say? Again, it's another case of needing glasses. Franchise. It does say Franchise Favorites. Uh, CJ Abrams. Wow. And we have a uh, franchise favorites of Josh June Refractor. Uh, a couple more Tristan McKenzie Platinums. If you can buy Pr Tristan McKenzie, man, he is, I'm telling you, this dude can produce a lot of strikeouts, low ERA, starting pitcher. Check his cards out. He's a Florida boy. Uh, Next we have 2019 Topps Chrome Chavis, Michael Chavis rookie card. And we have uh, 2020, another Panizzi, Panini, Pazizi, Panini uh, Prism insert of Patrick Bailey Prism card. And uh, Pete Crow. They're nice looking cards. Collegiate. Cards. I'm sure a lot of these guys got drafted and they're signed to minor league teams. And we have a another Pete Crow Fireworks 
card. So that'll do it for the uh, the baseball uh, cards, uh, single cards. Uh, I did pick up uh, some other stuff. I got a, for 50 cents a piece, a couple of these packs, AAA baseball. These are from like 1990, 1989 minor league. This was a collegiate collection, the University of Arizona trading cards. And these are from when? I don't even see a date on them, but I'll have to open them up and look. 91 Studio Pack, 1988 Tops Pack, and a 1990 Bowman Pack. Those are 50 cents a piece. Who knows when I'll get to opening those up. And then uh, there was a bunch of these um, 1999 base, uh, Special Limited Edition baseball cards of uh, Southby's, the Barry Halper Collection uh, packed. Anybody see those before? I don't know, they got kind of like a retro back to them. There's one pack that was open. They're like of uh, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. There's Lou Gehrig. Kind of neat. Another, another, uh, I think that's Napoleon. Um, kind of kind of cool throwback cards. Father of baseball. What the heck is that guy? I don't know. But that's what you get in those, apparently. I got a couple of those. Um, I got some wax boxes. This guy was selling wax boxes for $15 a piece, uh, which now it's kind of hard to find them at that price. So uh, I got a uh, 1991 uh, Leaf Series 2 wax box. See what's in there, that's cool. Probably just put it on the shelf. It's kind of a nice shelf decoration. But I'll, I'll probably opening up sometime. Uh, I got this 1989 wax box of Bowman. So you know we're looking for the uh, the Griffey card in there. These are fat packs. 1989 Bowman. So yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. possibly, maybe Randy Johnson, uh, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz perhaps. Uh, what else here? We got a 1990 edition of uh, Upper Deck. And these were all $15 a piece. This one's sealed, 1990 Upper Deck. And then I got two boxes of 1989 uh, Fleer, which is cool, because these contain uh, Griffey rookies, Randy Johnson rookies, and probably one of the most famous error cards out there, which is the Billy Ripken FF uh, error card. Yeah. FF, that's what I'm gonna say because I don't wanna say beep face, you know? Get thrown off YouTube for cursing. But, well, who knows? We'll get to these at some point. I'll make uh, separate videos. I'm going uh, away uh, for work uh, this week. I'm gonna be down south for the whole week in a hotel room. So maybe I'll bring some of this stuff with me and make videos every night because what else am I gonna do? Uh, so that's it for uh, the baseball card show. Right afterwards, I went to Target, as you can see in the video. And uh, I, was, I was going there for, for ink for the printer. But I was lucky enough, because I haven't found anything at Target lately. So I ended up finding uh, two boxes of uh, Topps Chrome uh, Update Series there at Target. Super cool. Can't wait to get those open. I'll bring those with me. That's it guys, this is a long video, probably looking at at least 40 minutes when it's all said and done. Uh, maybe you'll stick with me. Got some good stuff, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned, man, we're growing in, in viewers. Uh, shout out to Hoss, Hoss of Cards, he's a good viewer of mine. Um, if you guys haven't seen his channel, I'll put a link below. He's a pretty entertaining, entertaining guy. Uh, I think he shoots most of his baseball card videos looking looking down, which most people do. Uh, I'll do that event uh, at some point too, which which I, I have made those. Uh, but check out Haas of Cards. Uh, good dude. Uh, does a lot of cool uh, breaks and rips and you know care packages, all kinds of stuff with baseball. Uh, like I said, I'll put his link below. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him because he does watch a lot of my videos also. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching.
Take care. Have a good Sunday. Bye. Subscribe.